it going guys and welcome to RC Cincy. Today I wanted to do a quick and kind of an easy mod. Uh, so uh, I was fortunate enough to find a figure on Amazon for really cheap. It's the Broner or Broner or Broner. I don't know. Uh, little figurines, the construction guys. Uh, they are 116 scale or 114 scale. I can't remember. I think he said 116 scale on the guy. Uh, so they're designed to fit all the little construction equipment like the 580, this one, uh, the other ones as well. Um, they have a bunch of different ones, uh, different different ethnicities, uh, different outfits, uh, pretty much you get anything you want, right? Um, they also have ones that have like the little wheelbarrows and the shovels. You get other ones with cones and stuff. They have a, a vast uh, different uh, selection, which is really, really cool, right? So. I just picked up this guy right here. He was $16, it wasn't bad at all. So I threw him in there holding the controls, uh, placed them in there how I want. Uh, what I recommend doing is actually using Velcro. I know you can't see it because this seat part right here is covering it. This guy will not fall out. If this guy gets uncomfortable, it falls out. It's not like a normal one with the, uh, this is the Cobalite 336GC. Uh, this door does not open. So if he falls over, you literally have to take out all these screws Move everything to the side, take two more out, and get to him. So trust me, you want to use a piece of Velcro. So what I did is, this is command strip Velcro. I knew this stuff is good. I did have some black left over, so that's what I used. I thought that it would show, so this would show better than the white would in this particular case. It looks like a little black cushion, but to be honest with you, you cannot see it at all. So it worked out really, really well. You cannot see that, so that's even better. So I guess it doesn't matter if it's white or black because it's hidden. Uh, Double-sided, uh, really, really sticky stuff. Good stuff, won't leave residue. It's really, really good stuff, works well. I don't have to worry about his hands or anything moving. You see, I got his hands on the controls, so it looks legit. Uh, I don't have his head perfectly straight, a little bit, like it looks legit. So there's the guy. So what you have to do is, if you wanna go to the video, I actually didn't show every single screw of that. It's very easy to figure out. You're gonna leave it plugged in just while you do the bottom screws. So this can turn and move in different positions so you can access them. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that hold the bottom on. And then you have two more that hold the cab right here on. Uh, let's call this the housing and then this is the cab maybe. I don't know, or the, this the back lid. I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, watch it, this step is still hooked in. I just got it so it's to the side. Uh, this is metal wind build, bend back. Just be careful, bend these, you can bend them back. I just got it kind of laying on the tank right here on the edge like this, that way it's out of the way. Watch putting everything back that you don't smash any of these wires. I definitely recommend unplugging it. As soon as you got in a position, get all the screws out, immediately unplug this. And you are gonna have to remove the oil dipstick to get the lid off. Once you get this off of here, do not tilt this. You'll spill all your oil out. If you don't have any, it's not gonna run right and you're gonna get air in your lines. So keep that in mind. And also do watch, there is a wire right here that runs to the lights of the cab. Make sure you don't pull that out. It is fished under there. I've actually completely disconnected that. Uh, the cool part about this is the mods that I thought about actually has other channels for, so like the sound box in the future has another channel, any other lighting or anything else I wanna do we have it. This is a really, really nice receiver. You kind of look around, always look around and see if you have any leaks. I still haven't found any leaks. Uh, there is always going to be kind of oily residue all over just when I assembled it. Um, but you always, always want to check it, make sure it's nothing else. So I recommend having a couple paper towels before you put it all back, make sure you clean the window, wipe the window really, really well inside of it. Cause you get any fingerprints or anything else in the inside of it. You'll not be able to get it any right here from the oil being like, you know, in the thing, just go ahead and give it a good cleaning. Uh, and I'll just show you how, well, I won't have the towel. Oh, uh, and this is the tool I used. You can use just a good old fashioned Allen wrench. I forget what size this is. I do also have a set where it has this. This is much easier to turn. There are a couple ones that's kind of tight, so you may need this as well. The, the toothbrush is when I try to get some of the dirt off the tracks. Uh, I will have the first dig video. Uh, honestly, the day I went out there and played with it, it was extremely cold. The ground was frozen. It was wet. It was just the worst possible digging conditions. Did not give it a fair chance. So I just basically want to set up a nice job site for it and do the first dig. And then we'll do the fully detailed construction videos with the figurines and everything. No talking, just good old fashioned construction site. That That is coming. Uh, also, uh, mods for this is coming. Uh, also adjustment trims anything else I can figure out about it to make this better uh, I will also do a video on that and then obviously many 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 months from now and many many digs from now 
I like to just give you an update, see if it has any leaks or any issues arise or anything else going on with it. One thing I did notice, one of the tracks is making a popping noise, uh, like it's hitting something and then it kind of pushes it out and then goes over it. It just makes kind of a noise. I think something's in the track like dirt or rock or something's in there. Uh, that's why it's a good idea to clean it when you're done. Very, very good idea. I can't emphasize that enough. This will corrode. It will get stuff in there. It will get hard. It's just a pain in the butt. It's better off to honestly clean it. Uh, it's going to get dirty if you keep it brand new and just keep it on top of a box or whatever. I just, in the construction site, there's dirt on it. It's not perfectly clean, right? So it's more realistic this way. I brushed it to where anything that was loose would come off on this. Uh, and obviously, I'm going to vacuum when I'm done. I did take the mirrors off. You don't want to break or bend these, so I just took them off to avoid that. They're right over here. Uh, what else? And that's pretty much it. So really, it's very simple. You just reverse what you did. Literally slide the guy. I'm going to do it upside down. Literally slides in there. Make sure I fit. I didn't even see that. Let me make sure he fits all the way down in there. Not the right way. Yeah. Uh-oh, is he hitting his head? No, nope. we're good. And it is closed. So there he is, sitting down. There's a little hump in the plastic right there. He's just to the right of it. See? Give him a good shot of that. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be scared, even though you can't come out of it. <laughs> You're permanently entombed in there, buddy. <laughs> so it's not bad. I may do the door mod. It's just a lot of work. I wish there was a vendor that sold this, just this cab as is, but with the door cut professionally and sounded and painted with a little hinge on there. People would pay money for that. If anyone's listening or anyone knows someone like that, please put a link in the bottom. I'll check it out first, and then I'll make it. So anyone else can use it. Um, what else? I think that really touches based on everything. You get two nice, first two nice different antennas, different directions. Uh, you have a bunch of other options. I never realized, like looking at the receiver, you can do like the, the bus thing. You can do different auxiliaries and different plugins. And I mean, this thing just has so many options and it's such a good receiver. So I'm really happy about that. As far as the pump goes and the power and everything, we'll discuss that in a dig and kind of go over that then. That just pretty much covers this. Uh, there is stickers right here. So there's really, uh, looking at this closely, there's stickers there. Uh, there's another sticker here, another sticker there, the little handles, the grips, the little pedals that goes forward. Uh, the other pedals to place your foot on, like my dude is just chilling. That is really nice. That even has the, like the floor mats and the little cutouts for the vents for the air. I think this is really well detailed. You could technically take a little paint, little um what do you call it a little paintbrush and actually paint like the handle right here this handle would be black some of the trims in here like you can go in here with a paintbrush move the guy and do more touch up make this look even more realistic if you wanted to of course but you put like a little pepsi or coke can right here like just anything just to make it more realistic i'm sure there's guys that just completely redo these there may even be a different insert that could go in here uh so keep that in mind just make sure you have the battery removed so nothing touches uh, always, always checks for leaks. Always clean it and then make sure you tuck everything neatly in here so you don't smash or cramp or bend any wires. Watch your step. You probably should just completely twist this to where that gets unhooked from here. But I just did it this way. I didn't feel like dealing with that. Do not move this, tilt it up or down. You will get hydraulic fluid out because the cap is out of there. Technically, if you move this out of the way, you can put the cap back in. Keep yourself from spilling it. That's probably a good idea. But I'm just really, really impressed with all the little fittings, the blocks, everything. It just looks so good in here. I absolutely love this thing. So that covers that. Honey, how long is the video? Uh, nine minutes. Perfect. So that is the end of that. Uh, I have something I need to address, though. Um, I'm a little upset with the giveaway. I'm just going to quickly address it. Uh, so I did the giveaway last night. I was super tired. Got home from work. You can see I'm wearing my pajamas to clothes. I'm getting ready to get in the shower and get ready for the day. But I got off work last night. And changed my jammies and I literally took the time out of my super busy schedule to do a giveaway for you guys and I literally picked the winner I clicked on his thing to see if there was an email and to contact him right off the bat before I even published a video there was not I reached out in a certain video I'm not gonna speak on that but I reached out a certain way to know if it's him or not and then sure enough someone created an account with his exact picture but you can see it says three months old instead of six years old so they thought I wouldn't look at that. Yeah, I noticed it. Uh, and other people commented, thank you for sharing that with me. I completely deleted him and all the comments and everything like out of the, the, the video itself. Uh, I'm really upset about that kind of because I'm really trying to do this to be nice. But there's got these dingleberries. It's not a cuss word. These dingleberries that just 
want to scam and it's just like it's the it's the time of the season where it's giving and be grateful for what you have and just and then you have guys like that or people like that or whatever so i'm just really upset about that but it's okay uh the giveaway will continue i'll probably give him a little more time just because of the fact of all this craziness going on i think he'll reach out to me i made sure i get to the proper comment and i commented what i needed to and hopefully he reaches out to me and i'll let you guys know i'll maybe extend it by like 72 hours instead of 42 just because of the shenanigans normally it's 48 i'll do 72 after 72 hours if he still doesn't reply to the original you know the actual person that got picked then i'll re uh do the random generator again I'm hoping I don't have to do that because I really want him to get his prize. It just sucks that like someone's trying to steal it. So, uh, yeah. So, don't worry. I didn't send no code or to no one yet or anything like that. I made sure. I'm going to double check everything. I also have my fiance double check it. So, there you have it. I just needed to address that. It's kind of a bummer, but I guess it's the facts of life and the environment we live in now. I know some folks are having tough times, but there has to be other ways, right? So, hopefully there is. Um, without scamming so that's gonna do it for this one let's not take away from this really detailed guy i mean look at his face his clothes his hands bend and move in every direction uh i think this is awesome there was one that was the guy was a little different though he had blonde hair and stuff i don't have blonde. i try to this is the closest one to result yes i don't have blue eyes i know <laughs> but like this is the closest one that kind of maybe resembles me when i'll get older and shave my face i don't know <laughs> but like you know uh yeah what's it say on his shirt right there it's really really small lettering can you see that um um b world oh B browner world or browner world remember it's that kid that has all those radio control stuff and he's like super big and has like his own line of like cars and trucks and excavators and everything and little guys like this so he's killing it congratulations to him but yeah this is really cool i'm glad there's little figurines and there's, you know, stuff to make really nice style construction. So keep that in mind. I do have a big thing to go with this. It's not as, this is still the most expensive thing that I've gotten on the channel, thanks to my amazing fiance. Uh, winning gift, by the way. But yeah, anyways, um, incredible. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Absolutely incredible, honey. You rock. Uh, so this was the most expensive being 1200 Honestly, it retails for 2000 A lot of people are selling it between five to like, 1900 so i got absolutely a crazy steel price on it it was brand new so thank you to her but we did have something to go with it that's new that i have not had on the channel and i really i think it fits it properly that's all i'm gonna get into it'll be here like one day before the bit it'll be here one day before the big day so that's kind of cool uh i probably won't do a video till that next week or whatever but at least we'll have something cool to go with it and then uh, after I do the unboxing and kind of like the review for that thing or like a quick review or whatever it is, first run or whatever, I am going to start my construction series. I'm really going to try to set it up professionally with dirt and the site and everything and just make it really nice for you. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. And then that's going to do it for this one. Uh, I'll get it all back together. There's no point. It's very simple. Just simple screws, all the same length, Allen wrench. Don't over tighten them. Uh, you have to plug this back in to spin it to get some of them, maybe get some of them going, get the deck back down, put it all, tighten this up, and then put that cap on. Don't tilt it with the cap off. I can't emphasize that enough. And that's going to do it, guys. So thank you for watching. Thank you to everyone that entered. Sorry about the scammer, but hey, it happens. Uh, it may even be that person got locked out of his account. I mean, I'm thinking it's a scammer because it, but it's kind of weird because it has the exact perfect, like, photo. I mean, like, you could tell. Maybe he did crop it. I don't know, but we'll get to the bottom of it, and I'll let you guys keep you guys in the loop. And that's going to do it for this one. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.